Pluto is a distant and mysterious dwarf planet, which was once a member of our solar system's planetary family. However, recent startling announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a shocking revelation. They suggest that this icy world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this happen, and what would be the consequences of such a massive event? Are we witnessing a rare astronomical phenomenon, or is there something more to this impending cosmic collision? Join us as we explore the possibilities of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was demoted to a dwarf planet partly due to its peculiar orbit, remains a subject of fascination and study in the astronomical community. According to recent predictions by leading scientists, Pluto's trajectory is dangerously close to Neptune's. Leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the red flag of a possible hazardous collision between these two planets that could be a huge threat to Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit, meaning since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's path is marked by its highly elliptical shape, deviating significantly from the near-circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more peculiar is its inclination, angled at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The path Pluto traces is much steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and elliptical nature add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers struggled to understand its unique trajectory. Unlike the other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep incline and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is proof of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three things in space like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and affect each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its path, Neptune's path, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms azimuthal libration and latitude libration, along with the VZK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their orbits is azimuthal libration. In the context of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it's positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their paths from colliding. Latitude libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it's situated significantly above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another crucial component in this equation is the VZK oscillation. This is named after three scientists, Bon, Zippel, and F, who studied how things move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling affects how they move. In Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its path around the Sun is so unusual. Even though Pluto's path seems all over the place, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly for a long time. The VZK oscillation shows that even if things in space seem wild and random, some pattern and rules keep everything in order. All of these components help keep Pluto's orbit stable making sure it doesn't crash into Neptune or get thrown off course. This three-body problem helps in understanding how these parts change because of the way these space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn about Pluto and our solar system, distant worlds, and their stars. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stable properties, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic, 
with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millions of years. However, these unique properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos at bay. Recent computer tests have helped us understand how the big planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special connection with Pluto, where for every two rounds Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's path steady. But Neptune isn't the only one helping. Jupiter's gravity also plays a big part in keeping Pluto's orbit safe and stable, and Saturn helps a bit too. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to make sure Pluto stays on a stable path for a really long time, even billions of years. So, it's like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are all working together to make sure Pluto keeps moving safely in space without running into trouble. These phenomena are essential in the context of the universe for maintaining the order and predictability of space bodies' movements. Without these mechanisms, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater chaos and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto could potentially collide with others or be ejected from their stable paths, leading to a domino effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto especially, with talks about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is really important. This gives us a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto demonstrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of equilibrium through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also shows the importance of continuous observation and study of these phenomena to grasp our place in the universe better. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is vividly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or velocity can significantly change its long-term orbit. The vastness of space often forces us to confront the erratic behavior of celestial objects, and Pluto's orbit is a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's trajectory on its initial conditions, is vividly illustrated in Pluto's case. This means that even small changes in Pluto's location or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Simulations using virtual models have proven extremely valuable for scientists in understanding how Pluto moves through space. These simulations use advanced mathematics to model how Pluto and other celestial bodies, like Neptune, influence each other's movements. By adjusting even the tiniest details in the simulations, astronomers can observe how small changes can result in drastically different outcomes. In the late 1980s, these models revealed something fascinating about Pluto's orbit. Even with stabilizing mechanisms like AMOL and scope libration, its path can still exhibit wild and erratic behavior. A slight variation in Pluto's location or velocity can, over many years, lead to a very different trajectory. Yet amidst this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over extensive periods, even spanning billions of years. This suggests that Pluto's journey around the Sun follows a certain order, even if it initially appears scattered. Predicting events, particularly those involving turbulent orbits like Pluto's, presents significant challenges. The inherent unpredictability of these systems implies that long-term forecasts are often full of uncertainties. While mathematical simulations offer a powerful way to comprehend and predict the future behavior of celestial bodies, they also reveal the limitations of our ability to predict with certainty. These models depend heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions and the complexity of the interactions being simulated. Even a small error or misrepresentation can result in drastically different outcomes, making precise predictions extremely difficult. Moreover, the chaotic nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, serves as a reminder of the constantly evolving and dynamic characteristics of the universe. While we've made significant strides in understanding space, Pluto's orbit underscores the limits of our knowledge. Understanding how the gravitational forces from giant planets affect Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system.
It shows how the presence and arrangement of each planet can profoundly impact the stability and trajectory of other bodies within the system. So why are leading astrophysicists only now expressing concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune, despite all these intricate forces working to prevent such an event? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned astrophysicist and key figure in popularizing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mystery of our solar system, particularly Pluto. Tyson, recognized for his role in reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet, views this adjustment not as a demotion, but as an essential update to our growing knowledge of the many bodies orbiting the Sun. His approach emphasizes continual learning and adaptation. Tyson considers Pluto's unusual orbit as evidence of how much more remains to be discovered in space. The interest in questions like the potential interactions between Pluto and Neptune reflects the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of our solar system. His work illustrates that the more we learn about space, the more questions emerge, encouraging further exploration. Michio Kaku, another esteemed physicist and futurist, provides a complementary viewpoint on the enigmas of space, focusing on the unpredictable forces shaping the universe. Kaku's ability to connect intricate scientific ideas with visionary concepts makes him an influential voice in discussions about celestial mechanics and their broader implications for humanity. Kaku emphasizes the need for continuous observation and advanced modeling to predict and understand potential cosmic events. He views the interactions between celestial bodies as an area of critical inquiry, not only for academic curiosity but for practical significance. Kaku's futurist perspective encourages us to consider the broader implications of such events, from how they influence our understanding of the solar system to the potential necessity for future space interventions. His viewpoint highlights the importance of preparing for the unforeseen in space. Both Tyson and Kaku converge on the idea that space is a realm of infinite discovery and that our current knowledge, while extensive, is still limited. They emphasize the necessity for ongoing exploration and advanced modeling to continually enhance our understanding of the universe. The potential collision between Pluto and Neptune serves as a case study for the broader challenges and opportunities in space exploration. It underscores the need for rigorous scientific inquiry, cutting-edge technology, and a willingness to revise our understanding as new information arises. Both Tyson and Kaku use Pluto's situation to call the scientific community and humanity as a whole to push the boundaries of knowledge further. There is general consensus among scientists that the orbits of Pluto and Neptune will remain stable for many years to come, thanks to their mean motion resonance and the various gravitational influences acting on them. Therefore, a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune is considered highly unlikely. However, the complexities and potential fluctuations in orbital elements mean that astronomers must continue to observe and study these celestial bodies to understand their long-term behavior and any potential risks they may pose. While the probability of a Pluto-Neptune collision remains mostly theoretical and improbable based on our current understanding, it highlights the importance of ongoing space exploration. Advances in technology, such as improved telescopes and computational simulations, will help astronomers refine their models and predictions, keeping us informed about the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of our solar system. Tyson's views on Pluto's reclassification and Kaku's focus on the unpredictable nature of celestial mechanics both emphasize the need for continuous research and a flexible understanding of the universe. The potential collision scenario, while improbable, underscores the dynamic and intricate interactions within our solar system. Ultimately, it reminds us of the vast, still unexplored areas in our understanding of space. Through persistent research and observation, we continue striving to unravel these mysteries, ensuring our knowledge evolves in step with the advancing universe.